Can anybody tell me what kind of idiot would enter a job field in which approximately 95% of those considered professionals are unemployed? I can tell you, me. I'm the idiot. And I'm here to talk to you today about something that not only concerns me, but also concerns you. The avid movie, TV, and theater goers who cannot live without their fix of How I Met Your Mother, Wolverine, or those who are just known to belt out a tune in the shower. Because chances are, if you have seen a movie, a TV show, or heard a song in the past 10 years, Actors' Equity Association has somehow affected your life. Now, uh, I'm by no means a professional actor, but I will be one day, so you should just ask for my autograph now while well, it's cheap. Okay. But however, I am a musical theater major, and in just one semester at Missouri State, I have worked with three members of the Actors' Equity Association. And guess what? All three of them are employed by this university. Basically, what I'm trying to get across is that the people you see in TV, um, in movies, or here on the radio are somehow protect protected by the Actors' Equity Association. And today I'm uh, going to articulate to you a little bit about what Actors' Equity is and how it helps protect actors and stage managers in the United States. So if you want to keep watching Netflix instead of doing your homework, listen up because this is important. Uh, let's start off by defining what Actors' Equity is to the general public. Uh, Actors' Equity Association, more, known, more commonly known as the AEA, is recognized as a workers' guild or a labor union uh, that works to support and protect actors and stage managers across the United States. Uh, and according to ActorsEquity.org, uh, it was established in 1913 and was created due to the harsh treatment of working actors in the 1900s. Uh, producers of stage plays and musicals were notorious for setting harsh and unfair working conditions, most of which were um, unpaid. So now that you know what the association is, let's take a look at how it protects actors uh, and stage managers today. AEA provides for actors similar benefits that other labor unions provide for their workers. And the Fancy Pants Factory does a great job of breaking down what uh, equity does for its members. Um, according to their website, equity determines the amount of rehearsal hours a producer can demand of their cast or crew, uh, how many and how long the breaks are during the rehearsal process. And according to my acting professor and AEA member, Sarah Wigan, certain health care benefits are provided to those who uh, do a certain amount of work during a year's time. And last, equity ensures that the actors and managers are being paid, for, uh, are being paid enough for the work that they put into production. And these benefits, despite sounding trivial to most, are important to actors and stage managers who are not guaranteed a job year-round. So lastly, I just want to reiterate how important it is to those who are members of Actors' Equity and how organizations like these sustain the arts. I hope you've learned a little bit about Actors' Equity and how it will play a role in your future and hopefully mine as well. So today I urge you to stop doing your homework, go see a movie, plug in your headphones, or buy a ticket to see a show in downtown Springfield. Support the artists who create for you, and you will have much more Netflix to watch in the next 10 years. Trust me. Thank you.